Oh, hello. Ah, oh, hey, cool. I'm a fox. Whoa, I go invisible. This is so epic. Hello everyone and welcome back to Afterlife SMP. This is the modded SMP where every time you die, you respawn with a brand new origin from the origins mod. This time, we're a fox. Let's see what happens. Fox, a sneaky and sly predator. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. I can't eat vegetables. That's okay, they're kind of gross anyway. I'm still fragile. I've been fragile for quite a while now. I miss being a robot. I have sharp claws. Why yes, yes I do have sharp claws. That's very cool. I feel very cool right now. Hello, villager. Don't mind me. I'm just going invisible. This being able to shift and go invisible thing, pretty cool. I like this. Can I wear normal armor? Huh, I think I can. I'm gonna just grab some of my moth things and go get my stuff back at Shelby's. Shelby did do me a murder, but uh, you know what? I forgive her. Why is the oil rig been griefed? Ouch! 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 Oh, that's really not good. Oh, please survive. Please survive this. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, I don't know why my oil rig's been griefed, but it actually it looks pretty good still, so that's probably okay. My stuff should be somewhere around here. Here we are. This is definitely spider gems things. Uh, sorry for the web, Shelby. At least I got my stuff back. And this has given me a great idea. Since I am such a sneaky and sly predator, I feel like I should take advantage and go be sneaky. And look, you just joined. Mythical sausage. Okay, this is our chance. We be very suspicious, which is pretend that we're AFK and not paying attention. And we head over. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I'm a very sly fox. <gasps> Look, I see him. He'll never see me like this. Ow, ow. Look, blocks. Don't mind if I do. Hello? There's someone down there. Hide. I have some blocks. They're second. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Serve is crazy. Hoot! Hoot! Stop it! <laughs> someone just pick, something just picked up one of my things. Who they? Who's there? You lucky? I'm, I got no weapons. I can't hold any bows and arrows. Oh, it's just a butterfly. Oh, it's just a butterfly. Hey, butterfly, you cute. Oh. Is that a ghost? Oh. What was that? I feel like we've probably tortured sausage enough at this point. Poor bird's getting paranoid. <laughs> Aw. He's a cute little owl. You know, I can really get used to this whole fox thing. I like being able to go invisible. It's quite fun. And I'm normal sized and I still fit in the village. I'm like a village pet or something. Plus, the village is nestled right here in this taiga biome, which I hear foxes like. Only thing is, haven't actually seen any foxes. So, uh, maybe I'll go look for some. I decided that was a good idea and I went adventuring in the forest. <gasps> Hello? Hello? A wolf? <gasps> Hi! Hey! Are, hey. You, are you a wolf? No, I'm a fox. Hello! I, I was just looking for some friends. Would you like to be my friend? Yeah! Do you want to play a game? <gasps> oh, sorry. Sorry, I do that sometimes. Oh. Sorry. Do, do you want to oh. play a game? Yeah, I'd love to play a game. Oh, um, how about hide and seek? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, you go over there and count, and I'll hide. Okay. And when you get to okay. 10, you gotta come find me, okay? Okay. Okay. One, two, oh, oh, oh. three, get ahead, get ahead, get four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming. <laughs> Whoa, how did you hide that fast? Hello? No. <laughs> Why do I hear you over? Hello? <laughs> what? Where did my new friend go? Hello? What? Boom. I saw a sparkle. <gasps> hey! Hey! Are you cheating? <laughs> no. You won though. Do you want to go again? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I hide. You seek. Okay. 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 Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna One, lose this game. One. Two. Cheating. Three. I'm not a cheater. Four, five, six, seven, ah. eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. I'm gonna find the wolf. Where's the wolf? <laughs> uh, boo! 
<laughs> you found me. Oh What's my, that? my, my. Look, a fox and a hound playing together. Sausage, you're such a creep. <laughs> you're what such are you a weirdo. About? What are you <laughs> doing up there? Hi, I'm an owl. Hoot. Hoot. Hello? Hello. Hi, I'm just delivering letters. I'm, I have a post office I would like to invite you to. Oh. Pick, pick a number. One, two, three, or four. Three. One, four. two, three. Here you go. You are part of Ravenclaw. Pick one, two, three, or four. Cool. Four. Slytherin, of course you are. You're no! evil. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you take the. I, I refuse. Hoot. Continue playing. Just don't murder each other, please. Thank you. Oh, no, no. I'm a good wolf. I probably should have said that. Um, do, do, Don't we normally not like each other? Yeah. That's okay, though. Yeah, We're friends. Um, yeah, I, I have already not eaten a single sheep. I've declared myself a good wolf. Aw, that's I'm so good. good. I've definitely yeah. not caused any chaos. Not at all. Oh, I don't well, do wait. anything. Uh, it was you! <laughs> what what did she do? You. She was stalking me the other day. It's not while I was building. stalking. I just playing. I like I'm playing. Mm. Listen, if you're gonna make me be a fox, I'm gonna do a fox and the hound bit. That's just how it has to be. I'm sorry. That was really fun, though, not gonna lie. I'm glad I'm enjoying this whole fox thing. It's really cool. Now, side note, I have collected up a little bit more meat from my cows, so let's go ahead and get some of this cooking. So I have lots of food. Hello, can I help you? Right, and now I get to do my favorite part of this server. I get to build something as a fox. This is kind of the part of Afterlife that I've been most enjoying because every origin I get, I get to build in a slightly different style, whether it's an entire village transformation, an oil rig, or a very cute barn. And a fox is going to be no different. Although I'm not gonna lie, I may get rid of some of Spider Gem's contributions. Ah, whatever, they're pretty. I do feel quite lucky in that I live in this taiga back here and I haven't really done anything back here yet or like had a chance to really work in the forest. My enchanting table is back here, but let's be honest, this is a death trap waiting to happen. It's just out in the open. So I'm thinking maybe we light up this entire forest, kind of do a little transformation back here and turn it into a foxy paradise. That sounds good to me. First things first, there's a lot of holes in the ground. So I think I'm gonna get some dirt and kind of level this place out. Four stacks should be enough, I think. Yeah. Chicken, you see the problem here. That's the problem. We're gonna cover up the problem. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, that's probably not good for me. I really don't wanna die again. I happen to like being a fox. No, get out of my forest. Nope, I'm having none of that. Playing on this server makes me realize how much I die. I'm playing on this server in Hermitcraft in about the same time frame, and on Hermitcraft, I have like 30 deaths. Like, I would have been out of this series three times already on Hermitcraft, because <laughs> I die so many times from stupid stuff like a skeleton sneaking up on me. It's surprisingly difficult to be alert the entire time that you're playing. I love that you could just place these twigs on the ground. That's so foresty. Look at that. It's so foresty. I'm actually kind of thinking this little patch right here might be the perfect spot for a fox. It's nestled in amongst the forest. It's lovely. Okay, hear me out. This is the layout. I want this to be a very simple little sort of cabin in the woods where I can reside. And I want it to be very built into the trees, so I'm not chopping down these trees that are very close. I'm definitely going to be using this table to get some kind of cool effects on the planks too. There we go, the frame of a little fox's cabin tucked away in the forest. I really like this so far, surprisingly. It just needs a couple of details. Now, normally I would use stuff like barrels and composters, but we're so close to the village, I don't want a bunch of fishermen. So instead, I'm gonna make use of the carpenter's table to kind of get the feel of those blocks without the actual blocks. For example, I think this would work just as well as barrels would. If not, better honestly. We'll want windows in the walls so that I can see out into the forest. Very important as a fox. The building process of this cabin honestly was going fairly well, although I did start to feel a little self-conscious about the fact that it's pretty much just a basic cabin. So I started experimenting with all these different blocks, but then I quickly realized that getting the pretty blocks means going in very dangerous locations. And since I've had enough of death for right now, I decided I'd stick to the safe blocks and just finish off my simple cabin in peace. Yep. 
I feel like I really nailed this look, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward look, but still, that's totally a fox's cabin. Can't tell me any different. Now we get to do the fun part, the interior, which is really fun and modded because we have so many more options, like a spruce table. Heck yeah, I want a spruce table. We can do some of these crates and fill them with my favorite things. We have stools, we have chairs. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. You can also make these sort of spruce supports, which I think will look great like that. Also gonna move the carpenter's table inside because I think it'll just fit better with the vibe of this place. Oh, we can use this to store some wood by the fire. That's perfect. Interior complete. I'm extremely happy with how this little cabin in the woods came together. From the super cozy exterior to the very cozy and cabin-like interior, it's all perfect. And it's also very functional. I'll do all of my wood crafting in here now because I officially have a carpentry area. And I have an area for brewing, a little cauldron over here, and my fireplace is all fixed up. All in all, I'm very happy with it. Now, I do have these extra eggs though from that one time that Lauren visited and gave me all of her children. Um, so I'm thinking I'll make a little chicken farm in the forest. Maybe off of this path right here. This kind of doesn't go anywhere right now. That seems like it'd be good. I feel like we'll just do something fairly simple for the chickens like that. And then close it in with these. Eh, this seems good. And then we'll just hatch all the chickens. Okay, we'll just hatch all the chickens. Brilliant. That's a great start, we'll call that a win. So now, just outside the village, we've got a path that connects to our enchanting area, our chicken area, right over here, and also our little cabin. This is a little foresty paradise. Now, I was searching through the mods, don't hate me for this. I've noticed you can get heads of animals. And my origin does say that I'm a sneaky and sly predator, and I've not done much predatoring. So I feel like I just wanna go out and interact with some woodland creatures. I mean, I've pretty much only interacted with vanilla monsters except for the moths that I saw last episode. So maybe it'd be cool to find some animals to either bring back or get the heads of. I'll very nicely ask for their heads before I slaughter them. It's fine. I'm not exactly sure what I'll need for that journey, but some extra food's always nice. I decided to venture out on the areas behind the village and so far I was coming up short. There was a lot of land that I hadn't seen before, but not a lot of life. I'm a very lonely fox. Very lonely indeed. Ah, oh, hey, this place is nice. <gasps> Hello? Oh, I don't think you're my friend. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. Whoa, I knew I could do this whole predator thing. Look at me go. I did it. My first pork chop. Unfortunately, no boar head. Oh. 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 Yep. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, totally cool. <gasps> hey! <laughs> I'm invisible. Okay, invisible doesn't matter to you. Invisible doesn't matter. <gasps> Taxidermist. I got a head! I got my first head. This is brilliant. Okay, finding boar was a very good sign. Now I just have to see if there's anything else lurking in the forest. It's a squirrel! Hello, little squirrel. I won't hurt you. Hello, little squirrel. Oh my goodness. That is about the cutest thing I've seen all day. Ooh. Hello. Not looking for you. <gasps> oh, I am looking for you. It's a deer. My very first deer as a fox. Okay, it's time to prove myself as a very sneaky predator. I just very slowly approach the deer. Bam. Got it. Oh, I got an antler. This is epic. I wonder what else I'll see. Um, you're kind of cool, but I, I have you at home. <laughs> hey, there's a turkey. <laughs> Gosh, I make a great predator. Hey, look, it's a goose. Yeah, Canadian geese. I'm Canadian too, but I'm a Canadian fox. It's different. Oh, hey, look, I found Scott's area. Hopefully he has a waystone so I can get home. Back to Jem's village. Ah, it's good to be home. And we've got a boar head and lots of meat to take into the cabin. I've had a very successful hunt, everybody. Very successful indeed. Boar head. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> kind of brutal, but I am a fox, so I feel like this fits me. I'll store all of my lovely meat in here. I wish I could hang up these antlers. I will display one of them, though. Right there. 
Ah, what a successful day it's been. I'm for a nap. <laughs> I really do love this invisibility thing. Well, everyone, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode as a fox. I certainly enjoyed recording it. It was a lot of fun. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time. That's awkward. Okay.